Hi Pedro, this is Danny, lesson four video assignment review. So I'm just gonna go over the synth that you've built in Reactor. Just gonna check a few things, make sure it's all running properly, okay? So what I'm gonna do first, just gonna increase the number of voices you have up here to eight, so we get eight notes polyphony. And I'm gonna turn off these other oscillators. Let's focus on the first one. Let's take the pitch back to normal. And I'm gonna just make some settings over here to default, so taking the filter all the way open. The filter envelope I'm going to take off. I'll take your LFOs off for the moment as well. And um, let's just do a pretty standard setting with the filter envelope on here. Take the amplifier envelope sustain to max. So I think we're pretty much ready to get started now. So the level, in fact, let's take it to zero. There's a the sawtooth. We can see that. We've got the feedback visually. And uh, let's just test the other waveform types. Triangle, that's fine. Sine and pulse. Okay, something's not happening here. Okay, so the pulse, um, what we need to do, I'm gonna right click here and say show in structure so that we can have a look at this. So oscillator one, and uh, let's see if there's a reason why. And look, can you see that? The A socket is not connected. So it's not receiving its information about the how long the note's being held down or the velocity. So let's bring this connection up. Now I'm assuming we're gonna to have to do this the same with oscillator two. Yeah, there we go. Because you know you created two, three, and four, two and three from duplicating the original. So let's take A to A. That's all connected up fine. So let's come back up to the panel. Let's test that. There we go. Let's test the pulse width. Let's take this down. Let me just quickly take my release a little bit shorter. There we go. That's working fine now. So let's test the other oscillators. Let's just get the pitch neutral. And let's take the pulse width to zero. In fact, let's just do the same here with the other one as well. And um, this one to zero, this one to zero. There we go, right. Let's turn off the first one. Sorry, my mouse, I'm having to do my right hand on the keyboard and left on the mouse, the way everything's set up at the moment. Okay, that's fine on the sawtooth pulse. Just testing the pulse width there again. Triangle, cyan. Yeah, that's good. Right, onto oscillator three. Same test again, pulse. Do pulse width. Down to sawtooth. Triangle. Sign. Yeah, that's working fine. Now onto the noise oscillator. Let's stick it on the white noise. Yep, that's cool. Let's just bring the level up a bit. Right, everything seems to be fine on those. And I'm going to come back onto the sawtooth. Oscillator one, we're going to test now um, the amp envelope. Let's do a slow attack. So we're fading in. Let's test that sustain level. Let's bring that down. Yep, so that's all working fine. Multi-filter, let's test the filter. I'm gonna bring up a little bit of resonance. Let's take the cutoff down. That's absolutely fine. And let's try the filter envelope. Let's rotate this. Let's bring the cutoff frequency down. Let's slow the attack on the filter envelope. Working very nice, so it's absolutely fine. So let's test the LFO. In fact, let's bring the cutoff down here. So LFO to filter. Let's take off the clock sync. I'm going to do this manually. Let's go for sign. So you can really feel that coming in there. Let's increase the speed. So that's working perfectly. Onto the LFO to pitch. Let's have a listen now. Let's take this up. Yep, so that's absolutely perfect now. Um, so just to, you know, really it was just a, a very minor change, wasn't it? It was just the whole thing about the pulse not being connected in the actual macro. Actually, one final thing what I'll do is I'll test your um, arpeggiator, make sure this is running okay. Let's push the transport on the sequencer so that we've got a clock running. So let's just bring this on. Sorry, just gonna maximize the logic window. So. Just checking here to see whether the, oh, well, the clock's not running because we've reached the end of the song here. So let's come back to the very beginning and just gonna put loop on. So we've got the clock running and now let's have a listen. 
just going to take the uh, LFO to pitch off. So that's working fine. So all good work, mate. And uh, I look forward to checking out the snapshots you're going to create next week. All the best.